Here's the bit that any hairdresser would tell you not to do, especially if you've ever seen Brad Mondo on YouTube. Oh girl, you don't brush wet hair. Well, I don't think Brad Mondo's gonna see this video, and even if he does, it'll be too late because I won't have any hair left because tonight I am not just cutting my hair off, I am shaving my head bald with the help of my good man Craig who is sitting off screen because he's camera shy. So I've got hairdressing scissors and um, they've been used for cutting a fringe once or twice in the past and for cutting sticky tape which I know you shouldn't really do. So they're probably not that sharp but we'll have a go. Now if you were actually going to cut your hair and you cared what it looked like you should probably section it off and stuff but I don't care what it looks like because it's all coming off so I'm just going to cut. I will edit the video so you don't have to watch all this. As I say I've got no idea what I'm doing or what it's going to look like but it doesn't really matter. Oh I can't believe I'm doing this. It's so surreal but the whole story is that I have breast cancer but I still have my ear. And um, I've been told that all my hair is going to fall out for sure. There's no a chance that I might keep it. It's just a question of the kind of drug I'm on. The hair is going to come out. Now, can you imagine waking up in bed and finding that when you touch your head, that happens? That would be really traumatic, wouldn't it? Or if you were in the shower and you were washing your hair with shampoo and suddenly you did that and a big massive handful of it came came away in your hand that that'd be horrible that would be really traumatic and make you cry right make you feel really depressed and I think having cancer is probably bad enough right you don't need this adding to it so that's why I thought you know what if I just take control of this and decide when my hair is coming off, then it'll actually make life a wee bit easier for me, won't it? So that that was the whole point. This is like a really extreme mullet, actually, right now, isn't it? <laughs> all this, oh, this is sneaky grey. <gasps> she bleaches her hair. Ooh, whatever, get over it. <laughs> For everybody out there, it's like, oh my god, Regan, you're so brave. I'm not brave, I'm as mad as a hatter. Um, this isn't brave. This is the least of your worries. Honestly, I know um some of you are like, oh god, I couldn't I couldn't bear to do that to myself. But, oh, but really, like I said, would you rather you you know, not doing a good not doing a good uh, job at this thing, would you rather let cancer do it for you? No. Let's take control of our own lives and our own destiny. You know, make your own path. Get them covered in it. <laughs> I'm not very, I should do it with my right hand, but I can't use my right hand. So I think I might just give in gracefully, Craig, and get you to come over and do this side before I lose an ear. So the next point is we're going to use clippers uh, to try and get a really, really close into the wood, as we say, <laughs> into the wood in Glasgow really close shave and then we're, I'm going to use or I'm actually going to get Craig to do it because I won't be able to really see you properly um, and what I'm going to use is my electric lady shaver which kind of sounds like a Jimi Hendrix album or something <laughs> um, so that's how it's going to use the scissors to get it short and then the the clippers the clippers um, to get it really really short and then the razor, the electric razor, because, um, is that it? I've got a crazy, crazy wee long piece here. And then, if you get the wrong glasses on. No, no. I am left-handed. And then there's a wee bit there as well, like, sticking out through the top of my ear. I quite like that, by the way. Gibbs, <laughs> someone do like NCIS. <laughs> a short back sides. Grey hair, not that. <laughs>
What are you waiting for? Grab your gear. 